Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting, Hammond, Louisiana. Thanks for joining us in this video today. Also, please stay to the end of the video to see a blooper that I made with my camera. In this video, we're going to talk about surface cleaning brand new concrete. Also, if you're new to the channel, we would definitely appreciate if you go down and hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking for some pressure washing training, we have an entire page dedicated to online training for pressure washing and parking lot striping. You can go visit BillyDavidsonVIP.com or also check out the description. There will be a link in there and the first comment in the comment section below. This driveway belongs to a repeat customer of ours for many years. He loves to keep his stuff very clean and we love that he keeps it clean. It makes it much easier cleaning it on a very frequent basis. In addition, this driveway was just built a few months ago and actually haven't even been through an entire summer yet. So we have to be very careful surface cleaning this gentleman's driveway not to damage it. So we're going to talk about a few things that you might could do when surface cleaning brand new concrete so you won't damage it. One of the first things you want to do when you run across a brand new driveway but it's dirty and needs cleaned and you want to surface clean it is pre-treating. Pre-treating definitely helps out with the surface cleaning where you don't have to surface clean it so intense. Pre-treating with at least a 2% sodium hypochlorite solution or above, we like to go between 2% and 4% when pre-treating a brand new driveway. Now there is a wide variety of ways that you can pre-treat brand new concrete. One of the ways is not downstreaming. Guys, downstreaming does not let you achieve a 2% or above. Usually downstreaming is going to give you about a 1% or maybe even less than that. So downstreaming a driveway is really not that at all effective. One of the most effective ways to pre-treat in concrete to get between that 2 and 4% sodium hypochlorite is with a soft wash skin. Another very effective way to pre-treat in concrete is with an X-Jet. Yes, an X-Jet will allow you to achieve at least a 2% and even more. Also, you could do it with a pump-out sprayer. Now, that would take forever, but you could get it done with a pump-out sprayer pre-treating concrete and achieving that 2%. Now, once you do your pre-treating, it's time to break out your surface cleaner. Now, guys, you have to change your surface cleaner tips. You need to change them to at least double the size that you would be cleaning a dirty concrete. The reason being, this lowers the PSI and lowers the impact of that intense water pressure on this brand new concrete. A good rule of thumb is to double the size of your surface cleaner tips. Have that extra set always in your truck. That way you can change them out at a moment's notice. Also, something very important, even though you've changed out your surface cleaner tips to double the size the original size it came with, keep your surface cleaner moving. Never stop and let your surface cleaner keep spinning in one spot. Guys, these surface cleaners spin thousands of RPMs and just leaving it there for a few seconds could definitely etch the concrete in a hurry. Now, another important tip after you do your surface cleaning, you have to rinse all this dirty water off. As you see in this clip right here, I'm actually rinsing the opposite way of recommended. I'm rinsing from low to high. The reason why I wanted to do this is because my water would have drained off into a public waterway. So I rinsed it from low to high, pushing the water off into the grass to the side where it can dry off safely. And guys, another big mistake that I see beginners do when surface cleaning and cleaning new concrete is after you do your rinsing, make sure you don't track your dirty shoes or even your pressure hose back across that clean concrete causing it to be dirty again. That can make a perfect job look awful. And guys, don't forget to stay to the end for the blooper coming up here shortly. Please visit our training page, BillyDavidsonVIP.com. Hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. And thanks for watching this video on how to clean new concrete safely. Again, I'm Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Washer Painting, and I hope to see you in the next video.